Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my Halloween decor. <laughs> Started putting up the decorations yesterday. We are not done. <laughs> it's probably going to take me until October 30th to finally perfect it the way I want to perfect it. Um, but as far as this goes, it's pretty nice. So, um, Welcome back. If you're new here, I do um, pick a card readings, crafting videos, and also tarot deck and oracle reviews. So that is what we're going to get into today. We have the Literary Witches Oracle. Um, this is a 70 card um, deck and guidebook, and this is a new release. So this came out, I believe, last week, um, but I got it today. I was a little late. Um, and it's written by, and I'm not even going to pronounce the name. I'm not even going to try because that name, I don't want to butcher it. So it's written by her <laughs> and it's um, illustrated by Kathy or Katie Horan. So um, I'll tell you what the back says. Discover divination using the magic of literary genius. Unearth the wisdom of the witchiest women in literary history and let their brilliance illuminate your path. Drawn from the book Literary Witches, a celebration of magical women writers, the cards in this oracle deck bear portraits of por uh, powerful female authors and mystical spell ingredients, both full of symbolism meant to nourish the witch that lives within you. This is um, uh, retails for $19.99, and it is published by... Um, Clarkson Potter, an imprint of Penguin Random House LLC, New York. And so I'll link that um, in the description box below. And I will also um, link uh, more places to get it online in the des description box below. I am not sponsored. I am not paid for these reviews. I just simply want you guys to figure out what you want. Um, and if this is something that you are interested in, I like to do these unboxing videos because that way you guys can know what you're getting into because sometimes these Oracle decks can get expensive and sometimes they can be disappointing. So I want you guys to feel like you can connect with them before you purchase them, if that makes sense. So um, this is in no way a sponsored video. That would be cool, but um, my de my reviews for the decks are honest and my opinion. So um, if it works for you, it may not work for somebody else. So let's dive into it. The Literary Witches Oracle. So I've already scored it, um, but I have not opened it. So it's a little hinge box. Oh, how cute. Okay, so it has a ribbon, I'm so excited. All right, ooh, okay, so it's a thin little um, booklet here. I'm loving the colors. Okay, pay no attention to my broken nail. It says, as with tarot cards, oracle cards serve as mediums for personal reflection. The symbolism of the cards can help you interpret your experiences and focus your energy. However, while tarot decks contain 78 cards and an elaborate visual system, oracle decks have no set number of cards and no structures to be studied. Oracle cards stand on their own and can be used one at a time to address a question or orient you for the day. They can also be read in a multiple card spread to tell a more complex story. This deck is ba okay. Uh, it's based on a book um, that the author and the illustrator reimagines visionary women writers as witches, formidable figures of creativity and empowerment. Just as the book honors the conjuring powers of women authors throughout time, the literary witch's oracle is an invitation to access and nourish your own inner witch, that wise being who knows exactly what is going on and what to do. Using the 30 author portraits from the book, the witches, as well as 40 new paintings inspired by the book's imagery, the witches' materials, these cards offer the presences of magical literary artists and their witchy familiars as portals to guidance and meditation. Okay, so reading the cards. I know this is kind of boring, but we need to kind of like get the gist of how it works in order to really review it. The author cards in this deck, the witches, are figures wandering and brooding over an enchanted landscape. The witches' materials are creatures and objects, ghost, eel, lantern, and so on, haunting the landscape, companions, talismans, or ingredients for spells. All of these beings are alive for you to observe and make sense of with your own powers. The words on the cards and in this booklet provide suggestions for interpretation, some purposefully contradictory, some, mad, uh, some mystic and ambiguous. 
In the spirit of the book and the literature it celebrates, this deck plays with the language and imagery and invites you to do the same. You may choose to bring specific questions to the cards or just an open mind. Only your intuition can tell you what the cards truly mean, and each card can and should be read differently depending on the reader, recipient, and situation. The possibilities expand even further in a multiple card spread where the layout creates a story and each card contributes to the telling. Where to begin? Initiate yourself into the literary witch's oracle with the two simple layouts that follow. Okay, so single card. Shuffle the deck and choose a card at random. Throughout the course of the day, reflect on the card's meaning and its relation to thoughts and events that occur. This can be a revealing exercise and a way to break out the routine thinking. So, um... Cool, okay. Three card layout, past, present, future. Okay, as you explore the deck, remember to make the experience your own. Sweet, okay. The witches, okay, so then it goes into um, each witch and their meaning. It's color, again, which I find fascinating that um, we still can get a color booklet for pretty inexpensive. I mean, again, it's pretty, it's, it's not a pamphlet. It's still bound, but I mean, it's not like hardcover. I'm all right with this. If we get the color and the, the text that we need, we'll spend more quality on the cards. That's awesome. Okay, so all of the authors, Mary Shelley. Oh, that is really cool. Okay, I'm excited to see the cards. Okay, the witch's materials. All right, okay, so it does, so on the card, it looks like it just gives you the title of what the card is, but you'll have to um, either use your intuition on what it means or come back and use the keywords down here. Awesome. Oh, I'm excited for this. Oh, this is really cool because this opens up a lot of doors like it was talking about, about how to use them. Very, very cool. Okay. So now that we got the booklet out of the way after seven minutes, <laughs> let's get to the cards. It does have that ribbon, which I love. I love a good ribbon. Okay. They're thin, but they're a good thin. They're like, does that make sense? I am in love with the back. Can we just get a close up and look at how pretty that backing is? <gasps> oh, it's very um, 1800s to me. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. It's 1800s um, Gothic and I'm all right with it. I am here for it. Okay, let's flip these over. Ooh. Emily Dickinson, the soul. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this in frame so we can just go through. Anise Nin, Sylvia Plath. Wow. Mary Shelley, oh my gosh. Emily Bronte. These are beautifully done. Octavia E. Butler. So I don't want to bore you with reading them all out, but if you can read them on the screen, awesome. I just want you to get a feel for the cards, how the art is. Agatha Christie, oh my goodness. What it's all about. I'm really loving these because yeah, there's a lot of imagery in them and, but it's simple imagery as well. You can just sit here and look at these and, and, you know, come up with your own interpretation as well, which I am all about. Sorry, I'm getting out of the frame here. Oh. 
Oh, I'm loving these. I'm loving the simplicity in the artwork. Okay, so I think those were all the authors. And now we have, oh, they're so cute. We'll go a little bit fast. Yeah, it's definitely giving me 1800s like um, literary vibes, like <laughs> obviously, but um, that's that's what it's giving off to me. Like um, those those little illustrations that were in the top corner of the chapter books. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but like, I love it. It's so simple, but yet so, uh, there's so much to it. I love that there's a lot in the simple things, if that makes any sense at all. <sighs> love it. Yeah, you can definitely use your intuition with these. Oh, I just love, love, love. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm kind of going fast with these. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's see how they shuffle, huh? They are also like a mat, which I do love, especially with filming. They are not picking up a lot of the glare. I love that. Um, they are gliding pretty well. Like none of them stuck together. None of them were um, horribly cut. Um, some of the edges are a little rough, but I'm, I'm not complaining about it. I just think that's the cardstock, but, um, I feel like there's a lot of quality put into this, a lot of time, a lot of effort, um, a lot of thought went into this. Um, the back is beautiful. They shuffle really, really nice. Okay. Let's do my favorite type of shuffle. Oh, like butter. Oh my gosh, that was like butter. <laughs> uh, so satisfying. One more time. Whoop. That was my fault. Oh, yes. All right. So how about we do like a little um, two card spread Let's see if we can get like a, um, an author and a, um, material come up and then we can kind of see, well, the wolf just keeps wanting to come up. So we'll just take the wolf and then let's see if we can get an author and kind of do a little, um, we'll call it a two card reading, but really it's a one card reading in my head <laughs> because I just want to see how it would read together in their example in the book. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's too many. Thank you. Okay. So let's cut and see if I can get an author. I'm just going to pull until I get, there we go. Okay. So we have Toni Morrison power and we have the wolf. Okay. So let's see what it said here. <clears throat> Oh, even in the example, there's a wolf. Okay, so it says, the self without others, a calling, the great expanse. The wolf beckons you home to yourself. Who are you when no one else is around? Seek solitude, the spacious kind that feels restorative and a little wild. Go for a long walk, run in the direction of the howl. Okay, and then we have Toni Morrison. They aren't numbered, but... Um, you know, it's just looking through a little bit of the book. So that might be, um, 
irritating to some of you, but there's not that many to where you can't just flip through. And here she is, Toni Morrison, power. Owning power, seizing power, the powers at play. No American writer is more honor laden than the regal Toni Morrison, uh, born 1931, who was born to a working class fam family in Lorain, Ohio, a frequent setting for her epic novels of black experience. Her most famous work, Beloved, has become required reading, but wave that unjust homework aura away. Seek this novel for the haunted story it is, a deeply spooky and moving book about a vengeful baby ghost. Ooh, I have not read that. I have so many books up in my um, house that like we have, we'll never get to in a lifetime, I'm pretty sure, but that's the goal. For when retirement happens, every day I read a book. So anyway, so this is about power, owning power, seizing power, the powers at play. And then we had the wolf that was about um, a calling, the great expanse, home to yourself. So um, no particular question in mind, but I feel like this is owning your self power, owning your, um, you know, what you do with yourself. Um, so this was, there was no particular question. It was just me pulling cards to see how they read together. And I really do. I really do like these. Um, th there's a lot that you can infer just by looking at them. Um, like they were saying, you don't have to take the, the book meaning um, for everything. You can use your own intuition to interpret um, how you see it to interpret. I really like it. I really, really do like how it shuffles. I love the art. I'm going to have to get this book because I do um, love a lot of these authors and I've read the books and, oh, Mary Shelley. Um, so my consensus is it's worth the $19.99. Um, I know Amazon had a deal. That's how I got it. Um, it was like $17.99 or something because it was a pre-order. Um, but, uh, you can find it at Barnes and Noble cause I was just there and I saw it and, um, I think right now Barnes and Noble is offering an online deal for their books because it's back to school season. So um, online you might get a 20% off coupon. Again, I'm not sponsored. I just want to help you all out. <laughs> so anyway, this was the Literary Witches Oracle and I'm super stoked. I'm super excited about it. I love it. I will be using them in um, my pick a cards. Um, what do you think about it? Is this something that you'd be interested in purchasing? Is it um, up your alley? What about um, any other Oracle decks that um, you are looking forward to coming out? Because there's a lot. Um, same with Tarot. If there's anything you want me to get my hands on and unbox, let me know. I would love to do so. And um, let me know in the comments. Also, um, if this video helped you out or you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And then if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I do a lot of these videos and I said it, I think in the beginning. So pick a card readings, crafting videos. I've got a lot, a lot coming in the, for the, for the fall season and for the month of October, I've got a lot of ideas. Hopefully I can execute them all. Um, I'm kind of all over the place with my interests, so I like to share them. So if this is something that you are interested in or want to see more of, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you. All right, my lovelies, you have a wonderful rest of your day and your week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.